All right, now we're starting to look like something. It's a little long, so I cut it off. And uh, now we're just going to kind of polish it up a little bit. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, again, we're pretending we're out in the bush, and all we got is a, a belt knife, an axe, and a handsaw. If you don't have a, a knife, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> if you don't have an axe, you're in a little bit of trouble. If you don't have a saw, well, you might be able to get by, but it's going to be getting by. So those are the things that you need to, need to make sure you have with you every time you, you step out, in a, even in a little wooded area. Because you just never know. So anyway, what I do is I just take the edge of the knife and just uh, scrape. And it just smooths out all those rough edges. Sometimes you have to turn it over and go the other way. Just depends on how the wood grain is. Okay, there is a handle. And over time and after use, it will, it will smooth up a little bit. And, and uh, be a little bit more comfortable to use. And as as we're using it, if we find a hot spot, then we just pull out the old knife and take care of it right there on the spot. Not that big a deal. So Now, see if I can't cut the, the wedge in here where you can see me. Getting it started is the hardest part. Yeah, we're pretty straight. Yeah, pretty close. 
Vamos. Hey, I don't want to go all the way to the bottom. Hope maybe it won't break out. Kind of got off center a little bit here, but that's all right. So now, let me uh, make a wedge. I think this uh, red oak here might be a pretty good wedge. Still pretty solid. Quite wide enough. Let me go find the wedge and I'll be I'll be right back with you. Found a piece of red oak. I mean there's just red oak all over these woods. Um, split it out with a knife and just batoned it out. Got a little wedge. Kind of shape it up there a little bit. Get a little bit sharper point on it. to get something dry you use green it'll shrink and your head will get loose on your axe so certainly don't want that Chamfer the edge there, so maybe it won't split on me. Bad thing about red oak, bad about splitting. You get a piece that don't split, and it'll last a long time. Right, that looks pretty good. Oh. See if we can't set the head on it. We just want to drive it until we get 
won't go any further. Pretty tight right there. All right, take the little saw. As tight as it's gonna go right there. <laughs> need to sharpen it. Need to sharpen it a little bit, but there you go. Collins Legitimus. Bought this off of eBay. The guy who sold it to me. I don't know if it's true or not. It said it, uh, it was used in Alaska by his uh, his granddad on trap line for for years. When I got it, the handle was broke and, and it was uh, it was in sad shape. So figured it put a new handle in it and then it served me on my trap line this next winter. I think it's going to be all right. Let's get a close up of it. It's a little rough, but it'll smooth out. Now, I could have took the crook knife and just uh, kind of rounded it off a little bit, but I kind of like that rustic look there myself. That little knob on it right there so you can kind of hold on to it your hands are slippery a little wider up at the top so you can hold on to it to do some of that fine stuff there you go Glad you could join me making this uh, axe handle. Um, really enjoyed it. I got uh, something I want to show you before I sign off. We'll put you on standby here for a minute and I'm going to go get it and bring it back. Okay, I'm back. What I went to get was this right here. Does anybody know what that is? Let me give a close up of the leaves here. The stem. See all those thorns? Let's see if I can grab it here without getting stuck. You can see the pith right here. Get a good look at that. That is called That is called a toothache tree. <laughs> now yeah, you guessed it. If you take it and just kind of scrape the thorns off of it.
take the outer bark off. Don't get stuck. I mean, it's it doesn't give up its medicine easily. And you just chew on the woody part. It's very stringent. If you keep chewing on it, it'll deaden your your tongue, your mouth, everything, and uh, it works. Um, I've tried it, and and it it does the job. So for somebody, I'd pass that on. They get, they get pretty big. I've seen them probably about an inch in diameter. It's about the biggest one I've seen. Uh, they may get bigger in some areas. I'm not, I'm not sure. But uh, when they get that big, usually around here they die. So, um, But anyway, I wanted to pass that on. Kind of give you a little tip. But I do appreciate you guys visiting with me again. Uh, staying with me through this axe. I hope, hope it was beneficial to you. Hope you learned something. Um, hope it gives you some ideas to go out and and try some of this stuff. Um, it's uh, it's really relaxing and, and fun, and and uh, I really enjoy it. So get out there, go camping, try some of these skills out. Learn how to start a fire with flint and steel. Um, learn how to rub sticks together. Start a fire. Um, just the main thing is to get out there and, and enjoy the the bounty that we have all we can. Uh, I don't know how much longer we, we can enjoy this stuff. But, uh, I want to enjoy it while I can. Uh, this is William with WC Knives. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your comments, your subscriptions, uh, all of your knife purchases. I, I appreciate that. I just I'd say that on every video, but I do mean it. Um, and uh, take plenty of band-aids with you. Lots of knives. And uh, just enjoy it. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye.